okay friends uh, welcome back today we are uh, going to see how in SAP we can actually display the T account a GL account keep in mind that uh, uh, by displaying GL account here means the data in the GL account if I want to see the master data of a GL account I want to display the master data of a GL account for example uh, the name of the rent expense account its account number Mm, is it a balance sheet account or a profit and loss account? What is the currency? We have already seen we do it in FS00. But if we want to see the transaction data in EGL account, in essence a T account, what are the debits and credits in a T account, then we actually use this T codes. So here is the menu path accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, account, and FS10N. So here we write the account number which is say if I want to write the account number of Libra uh, uh, supplies expense so I remember it was two double one triple zero it was the account number for prepaid supplies uh, prepaid supplies two double one triple zero the company code was US double zero and the fiscal year was uh, 2019 and then we press execute and then you can see that uh, the GL account, T account activity is there. So here is the account number. This is the title of the account. These are actually the periods, right? So period means uh, roughly for the time being, we take this period as months. So by one, we mean January. So these are the debits for the month of January. There is no credit in the month of January. And this is the balance for January. And there is no carry forward balance from the last year. Of course, expense is not supposed to have any carry forward balance. For the month of February, there is a debits of 285.200,000. Uh, there is a credit of 2500 US dollars and this is the balance and this is the cumulative balance of January and February together and then and since there are no other uh, entries in March or subsequent months so the cumulative overall balance is equal to the cumulative balance of February now there is a drill down facility in this report it means that if we double click on this 93500 debits of January we will uh, be taken to details of these debits document wise entry wise details so 11,000 was debited in prepaid supplies by document number this 2500 was debited by document number this and you can see in total that there are almost uh, <coughs> uh, it showed the number of the status bar how many documents were there but since I pressed enter so it went away and if we go to the bottom of this screen we can see the total that uh, there are 93,500 debits in the month of January. Let's go back. Uh, there are There is no credit, so there is no need to double click on the credit side. If you want to see the debits of February, for example, so let me double click the debits of February. So this is the drill down, and you can see that uh, there are 115 documents, 115 entries. So we scroll down, uh, and after scrolling down, you can see that I have scrolled down that this is the total 285,200 that is the debits for the month of February. We go back and these are the credits for the month of February. If you want to see the details of the credits, we double click on the credit side and we have just one document on the credit side. Here is uh, the mention of one document here as well. We go back and if you want to see the detail of all the documents of February, then we need to click on the balance. Since balance is composed of debits and credits together, so it means that uh, the system will show you details of the debits as well as the detail of the credit. So let's click this one, double click this one. There are 116 documents, 115 were for the debits, one for the credit, so total 116. And you see the net is also 282,700, which was the cumulative balance here. And now if I want to see the balance of all the entries January and February together, then I will need to click on this one, 376200. This will give me the breakup of 376200, which is all the debits of January plus the credits of January, which are, uh, by the way, nowhere. Uh, then the debits of uh, February and the credits of February. So let's double click this and we will get the cumulative balance so far. Uh, so there are 150 documents in this cumulative balance, and this is the cumulative balance, the total of that. So we go back. This is the way we can actually actually explore different GL accounts. So I can ask you what is the balance in bank account, what is the total debit in, for example, alternate bank account. So we'll go back and let me type the bank account number. This is my bank account number. 
I know so I don't need F4 and here are the debits of the bank account in January these are for the February credits for January February and these are the accumulated balances let me see the debits of the details of the debits I double click on this one right and there are 188 documents and now I uh, want to take you to another step if I want to see the details of this particular document this is the document where 30,000 was debited I want to see who has posted this document what was the credit account on this document I need to select this document from this checkbox and after the selecting the document I need to go to display document display it shows me that this account was debited by 30,000 amount and these are some other details right not relevant for us for the timing I don't want to see just the debit I want also want to see the credit I want to see the complete document so in order to see the complete document here is a button call up document overview so I click on this one so this is document overview right so bank is debited common stock was created by 20,000 additional paid in capital was created by 10,000 this was the document and this is very similar to what we have seen in FB03 display document and if I want to see who has actually posted this document here is the posting date here is the document date and here is the header it will tell me that it was entered by GBI 204 means posted by GBI 204 it was parked by GBI 204 as well so somebody first parked it then uh, it was posted right so this is the time when it was parked this is the time when it was posted right and the entry date uh, is also supposed to be there so this is the entry date and this is the T code through which it was posted so let's close it and we go back and I now I want to see uh, this 1000 document this fourth document let me see the details of this document first check then display document this is the partial display of the document if you want to see the full document call up document overview here is the full document bank debit sales revenue credit by minus sign and here are some other details posting date document date here is a document header so this was posted by this guy it was a T code, entry date, entry time, etc. etc. <clears throat> we close it and we go back. So you see that uh, within uh, the T code of SSFS 10N, right, we can tunnel into we can tunnel into the document. So this is the T account, and from the T account, there is a drill down facility means that within the T account, if we double click on the total of the debits we will be taken to a detailed screen and that what is the entry wise debits and if we further want to see the complete information of that entry we go through checking box this and then calling up the document overview so this way uh, you can work out various uh, account balances and their breakups and how many documents have been posted to which side and uh, further details of the document so I hope uh, this is clear uh, so let's move on to some exercises And just one more thing uh, that I want to mention is that sometimes, sometimes because of some of the uh, subsequent changes by some expert in an expert mode, the cumulative balance over here and the cumulative balance when, when we double click will not tally, will not reconcile. But this is only rarely a case. For example, especially in the bank account since there are many, many entries in the bank account and many people apart from other our students are doing entries in this account. So you see there are 100 and 1006 documents posted and if you see the total of this it is actually 165.233 whereas the total is supposed to be it should be supposed to be 171.982 so this is not the case generally but it is the case where there are many entries and somebody has changed some basic settings uh, from behind the screen uh, and in expert mode then only this happens so usually you don't see these kind of situations uh, if for example if you double click on the balance 1091.279 uh, this is the balance for the February itself only and you scroll down and you see that it is the total is 1091279 so it's reconciling so 99% of the time it reconciles but if in some account it does not so you don't need to worry about that there is something wrong in the system there is nothing wrong uh, in the way you are actually dealing with the system so